Graham, uh, can you talk to us for a minute about uh, shale gas and the latest developments? There's a great deal of concern and worry about shale gas, and it's, it's understandable because we're going deep underground to interfere with natural structures in the ground, uh, rock structures down below, uh, and we're pumping in chemicals and a cocktail mix of them, and we're also pumping out water, wastewater, which carries away the residue of these chemicals. Uh, I haven't seen any very clear report on precisely what effect this has. Now, we're, we're some 10 years into developing this stuff. The government has been promising us clear regulations. I still don't know what they are. I haven't seen a clear outline of them. The government has commissioned a study by its own health officer, uh, chief, chief uh, I forget the precise term, but it has to do with the environment and public health. Uh, she has prepared a report for the government. It was going to release it at the end of September. It hasn't released it, and it looks like it's not going to release it. The government has refused to make any statements about the health question in this, despite the fact that at the time of the election they promised that's exactly what they were going to do. In the same way, the Times and Transcript, which promised earlier that it too would give us up-to-date information, has given us no information at all. Everything we've received has come from hacks either for the government or for the shale gas uh, searchers. So it's, 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 it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious that the people in shale gas and the people in government both know there's very bad news here. And they're not letting us know it. And what they're going to do instead is they're going to talk about the wonderful uh, controls they have in place, which we know won't be enforced. Uh, which we know probably are not going to be inadequate anyway, and is going to talk about the jobs that will be created for New Brunswickers, when in fact it will probably create very few jobs. In any case, for a few million dollars worth of jobs, we'll be giving away billions of dollars worth of shale gas. None of this makes sense.